Hello world, we are Yuao Sui and Sahan Chen. In this video demo, we will show you how to integrate Python unit test with Jenkins and generate elegant HTML reports on Jenkins. Our video is quite relevant to DevOps because Jenkins is widely used for CI but there is no native support to generate HTML testing report for Python Unitist. We hope this video demo will clearly show you the whole flow. Before starting, there are several preparatory tasks. First, make sure the HTML Publisher plugin is installed in Jenkins. Second, go to GitHub and find our repository and fork it. In your fork, replace the main.py file and the files in the src and test folders with the corresponding files of your Python project. Now to begin the demo, first open Jenkins. Click New Item, enter the name of the project and select Freestyle Project as the project type. In description, describe your project, you can also check git her project and include the URL of your repository. Of course all this work is not necessary, it's just a good habit. Fill in the SCM option with the URL of your fork. And don't forget to change the name of the branch to main instead of master. In build triggers, we enable poll SCM, which allows Jenkins to check our repository periodically and automatically update it as soon as new changes are made. The syntax of scheduled tasks is very similar to crontab in Linux. If you are not sure, please check the hints. Here we set it to check the repository every 4 minutes. Next, add the commands we want to execute in build. If you are using the Windows version of Jenkins, select Execute Windows Batch Command. For other Unix-like systems including WSL, select Execute Shell. Let's add the two lines of code shown in the demo. The first line of code is to install the necessary modules and the second line is to run the script. In the last step, set up the section about generating HTML reports. Add a Publish HTML reports to the post build actions. Be sure to change the value of index of page to result HTML. If not, the report will not be displayed properly. When everything is done, click Save and Apply. Then we build our project. When the project is successfully built, you can click HTML report on the left side to view the project report. Here you get a visual report of the unit test results. Nice. We have prepared an easy homework project, try it out. Thank you for watching.